Oh, I just took the foreign on a drag race These niggas hatin' cause I left them in my last place When they say my name, I hope they get a bad taste What's up guys? This is your boy Duber Guy again And We are about to Do a review slash Unboxing video, I guess And I'm gonna do this outside on my balcony I just wanna Kinda Open this up Somebody stole my tripod. That's the only reason I'm doing this unboxing because somebody stole my freaking tripod. So I couldn't make videos and leave the camera there and walk away and make a video, you know what I'm saying? So now I got me a tripod and I'm about to unbox it for you guys to watch it. So if you guys do enjoy this video, let me know if you do enjoy, enjoy this video. Well, this tripod is called, uh, I guess it's called Zomi Professional Tripod. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I had this product before, so it's nothing new to me. It comes with a ball head. I'm painting my deck, actually. That's why you see all these paint marks, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Forgive me about that. Good. Let's go right ahead and unbox the thing. But before we unbox this thing, you know what I mean? I mean... I'm gonna use my homemade tripod. You wanna know what my homemade tripod always is? The mob bucket. You flip it, you put your camera right there. And that's what we're gonna do today. And you guys can see it. I'm sorry my backyard is dirty too because we are painting and stuff. You know what I'm saying? My power washer, we power wash the house a little bit. A little dirt mark right there. We're gonna scrub it off and stuff like that. And we painted the deck. We're gonna finish painting it soon. But that's not what matters today. We are gonna. We are that's not what matters today. We're gonna unbox this little tripod I got and show you guys what it is. I, I enjoy using this tripod actually. It's, it has quick leads and all that stuff. Let, let's just get right into the video before I even start talking. All right, so. This tripod comes in a little bag, you know what I mean? And then you kinda zip, zip it out, you pull the tripod out, it comes out like this, it comes in a bag. People actually get satisfying, get, sat get satisfaction out of uh, doing unboxing and ripping stuff up, you know? So I'm gonna do it the satisfaction array, you know what I'm saying? These muzzles needs to get to work. These big muscles need to get to work, you know what I mean? So. What was a good feeling to rip stuff up? But yeah, oh my God. It looks way better than I thought it would with the last one I had. So these tripod, is a quick, oh my God, that was dangerous. That's not good. Don't try this at home. But yeah, it comes with these little legs, you know what I mean? You put the legs down, leg down. It comes with quick releases, as you can see. These quick releases, then you can actually like release them and put them down. And you know what I mean? I, I, I like the I like this one way better than the ones you gotta twist, twist, twist. Cause the other one I had, you had to twist and twist and twist, but this one you just kind of like, boop. There you go. You can adjust it to wherever you want. But I feel like these ones would get weaker after, after time goes on. You know what I'm saying? But hey. You can buy just the bottom of a tripod so it doesn't even matter. And it's stable too. But we're gonna get this together. Put this tripod down. Test it out. It's pretty long, so. And the good thing about this tripod is that it comes with this thingy that you can protect your ball head with it. You know what I'm saying? And it comes with a ball head tripod top or whatever it's called. You wanna consider doing this. So it comes with a quick release plate, which means I can actually put this on other tripods or whatever it is you want to consider whatever my other tripod holds you know what i mean so i can put these quick release on it and put them on other tripods but other than that this is just a quick video and it get pretty tall i might just kind of put it up and see how tall it gets and see if it passes me in height wise so standing right here we're going to put it right here and see how high it's going to get Boom. This is the tripod. Quick release plates. Like that. 
Oh yeah, I like that feeling. It feels good. It's easy to get to. You know what I mean? And oh man, it's already taller than me. Whoa. Whoa. Boom. You could actually use this to vlog. I know people that actually do this, you know? I saw Peter McKinnon in one of his videos, him actually recording and using the long tripod like this to record. Look at that. I like that. So if I ever go landscaping and stuff like that with my friends, since about to be winter, all my friends are going to come out for us to go do landscape photos and stuff like that. I am going to take this tripod because I love it. I can have the camera up here. And let me tell you one good thing. You can actually pull this up here. Oh man, look how tall it is now. That's pretty cool. I like that. See? I can actually take photos without actually going like this to take a photo, but I can just be up here and just shoot. You know what I mean? One good thing I'll say about this tripod is that I had one before. Somebody took it. I don't know who took it. It's not in my house. I've been looking for this tripod for months. It disappeared. And it was hard for me to vlog and like leave the camera up there and be like, hey, what's up guys? You know what I'm saying? I couldn't leave the camera there and talk and be on it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and record and show you guys the angles of the tripod. I'm going to leave it up here, down here, and down here. I'm first going to get my GoPro and put it on my head that I can get a different perspective of view, alright? Hold on, we'll copy back, guys. Whoa. Guys, so what happened was that my GoPro... It's not charged, so I guess I'm gonna have to just record it and put it there and then use my phone to record myself and show you guys the angle of it, you know what I'm saying? Because I was gonna put my GoPro on my head like that and then kind of do it for you guys to see it, but I guess not. It's not gonna happen now, so I'm gonna figure a way to do it for you guys. I like you guys, so I'm gonna do it for you guys. Just for the love of you guys, see how I did it? But anyways, this is how it goes on. Just for the love of you guys, see how I did it? But anyways, this is how it goes on. You put it up like that, and then you have the tripod, and you can adjust adjust it to come down. It's going to probably drop. Like I said, you adjust it for it to come up or down, so it's going to go down. Usually when you're doing landscape, this is how you want your camera to be set up. You know, you don't want to touch your camera if you're doing landscape. So for example, if I want to shoot this photo right here, I'm shooting in video mode right now, but yeah, you already know what I'm talking about. So if I want to shoot this photo right here I'll basically put my car my, my camera in M mode go up there touch up with my ISO my aperture and my shutter speed right here which my shutter speed is right here and then just start shooting so I'm gonna do a sample for you guys since I'm recording already and I'm using my phone to record for you guys so you guys can actually see it because I don't have any way of recording if my GoPro is dead you know, so I'm sorry about that. If the photo, if the video don't come out that good, I am sorry. I apologize, guys. Please forgive me. And the camera's not catching focus either. The phone is not catching focus for some reason. Like, oh my god, this is why I love cameras. Phones don't catch focus. You record on phones, can't even see shit. But yeah, anyways, I'm sorry for YouTube didn't monetize me. But anyways, I'm gonna get right into the video and show you guys what I'm talking about. For example, if I want to shoot this landscape right here that we have right here. I'm gonna put my camera in M mode, which is manual. 
I'm gonna make sure my ISO, my ISO is right now set up to auto. You don't want that when you're shooting photos, you know? You want your ISO to the least, once you want, this is the ISO, the F-stop, and the shutter speed. You always want your ISO to the lowest ISO, let's say 100, and put the F-stop all the way down to like the lowest one. If you want more depth of field, this this lens is a 24, 70 millimeter lens, so it does not have a, you know what I'm saying, 1.8 or 2.8, uh, F stop, but this one it goes up to four, so you put your F stop at four, your shutter speed, put it low. It's too dark right now, it's like 7 p.m. So obviously you don't want the photo to look like this. You want to brighten up the photo a little bit, like that. There you go. See that? Brighten up the photo. And then I'm I'm shooting at like ISO 1000, F stop four, and then my shutter speed. I probably put it down, then I can get the highlights. See, when you put the shutter speed down, you get the highlights right here. All these come out see what i'm saying all the highlights up here come out but if you put it down down it just get brighter and then you can't see nothing and it looks like a ghost this is called bulb mode it is used for shooting slow photos and stuff like that but yeah you want your, you always want your shutter speed somewhere where you can see the highlights you know what i mean so something like that let's try this for a second but yeah i'll see right here and then just get a quick shot zoom i'm gonna zoom in this camera, this lens actually goes to 70 millimeter. If you guys can see it, 70. So I'm gonna zoom in. Put my camera right there, still too dark. Put it up, up, up. It's gonna have some grains in it because it's too late at night. I'm trying to take this photo. So put it up, let it go. Boom, got a photo. There you go, boom. See, the ISO was at 2500. I stopped at four. And the shutter speed was 1 25th of a second. But all oh, these, I'm gonna show you some photos that I already took already for you guys to check it out. Uh, yeah, so for example, this photo right here, I should I slow down the the F, I put the F stop to the highest and I put the ISO to the 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 lowest because it was bright outside. Like I was saying, I wanted to slow this photo down that you can actually see this part right here. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys to see what I'm talking about. See it? See the photo slow down? You can see the water splashing. So that's what I wanted, you know what I mean? You can see every part of the water. But yeah. So yeah, that's a little quick something something for you guys. Like look at this Volvo I took a photo of. You see it? I love that Volvo. I love that color. Look at that color in the Volvo. Oh my god. It looks so good. So yeah, if you if you ever want so many personal photos I don't want to show. Like for example, this photo right here. I took up a bunch of NXS, you know what I mean? But I'm going to end this video right here. I'm going to end this video right here. I am going to end this video right here, guys. So if you enjoyed the little mini review I did, just hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, don't hit the thumbs down. But I mean, just kind of show me some love, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow my channel. I got one, I got one extra sub. I still want to thank anybody that has subscribed my channel and taken the time to watch my video here and there. I really appreciate it. I have 212 subs now. Please, let's get it up to 1K. 1K. 1K, please. Oh, 500 subs. 500 subs is my goal before the end of the year ends. Please help me get to 500 subs. If you can help me get to 500 subs, you know how you're going to do it? Share the video with your friends. Hit the like button, you know what I'm saying? Watch the video again and again. YouTube's going to monetize it and then send it to other people. You see what I'm saying? So just help me grow my channel. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys later.